of this song. For the Lord cannot change. I don't know what the Lord has done for you. Tell him that he cannot change. Tell him this evening that the Lord you cannot change. Father, thank you because you cannot change. You did not see me and change. It's a reason to be grateful to God this evening. I want you to mean this song with all your heart. As old as you are. As old as you are, you will never change. Ancients of days, as old as you are, as old as you are, you will never change. You will never change. Shades of death. Mean it with all your heart. Say it with all your heart. Say it. Let it flow from the inner side of you this evening. The Lord will never change. The Lord will never change. The Lord will never change. He is still the same. The miracle working God. The everlasting God. The I am that I am. He will never change. That is why we give you praise, Jesus. That is why we worship you. Hallelujah. Oh, ancient of days, you will never change, Lord. I worship you, Jesus. change love you will never change love oh yes yes someday you will never change as soon as you will love you will never change you will never change Give 
praises that honor you, Lord. I will bow down to be for you, Lord. Now forevermore. For your mercy, your kindness. For your love and your joy. Yeah. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, hey, oh, they glorified, yeah, 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 oh, they glorified, oh, they glorified, Holy Ghost, now forever, oh, now forever, more, give you all the glory,
if you know that you're happy, I want you to dance in his presence. You have every reason to dance this night too. I want you to dance. Ime, Ime la, Ime la, Jehovah Ime la. Ime, me, 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 Ime la, Ime la, Jehovah Ime la. I no make a leggy, no see Ime la, Ime la. Say praise the Lord Jesus. 
the Lord is your strength. Uh, the days are drawing near. Are you getting happy? Uh, it's all right. Um, you will find a paper and you will write your family name on it. The cost of the meeting, I will need it. And when I need it, the ushers will collect it. Not your own name, your family name. And just write it. But don't use one small piece of paper that someone will rumple like this. Just, just write as if you are writing to the Lord. And get it ready. When I call for it, they will pick it and bring it. Yeah. We will lay it before the Lord. And the Lord will visit your family. Yeah. Uh, you didn't believe. Amen. The Bible says, I believe, therefore I have spoken. Uh, one way to show you believe is to speak. Praise the Lord. So we are looking at uh, changing family verdicts. I trust God to give me quick speed and give you quick understanding so that we can start praying very quickly for our families today. The Lord will visit your family. Amen. Uh, Genesis chapter 12. Genesis 12. Genesis 12. We'll read from verse 1. Genesis chapter 12 from verse 1. Now the Lord has said to Abraham, get out of your country, from your family, and from your father's house, to a land that I will show you. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name great, and you shall be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and I will curse him who curses you. And in you, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. The Lord bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. Uh, God said to Abraham, in you, how many families? Eh? Talk to me. Is your family inside the all? All right, so it's very clear in my mind, and it should be in your mind, that the will of God is that every single family represented here today should be blessed. Amen. Say a very big amen. amen. And I want you to take responsibility since you are here and all your family members are not here. Take responsibility for that family. That's why I said, write something. Do you remember uh, Moses said they should bring rods? Eh? And what should they do? They should write the families that each one represents and lay it at the altar. And that the one God has chosen to bless, what will happen? It will sprout. It will spring up. It will suddenly begin to blossom. So the Bible says that one of the things God said to Abraham was that he was going to bless every family of the earth. Please, is your family part of it? Your family is part of it. And I want it to settle in your heart that the enemy is against families and God is for families. Uh, the Bible calls him the father of the families on earth and in heaven. That's God. He's the father of families. So as we speak this evening, I'm praying that the Holy Spirit will grant you understanding. I, I just want to run around a few things. I won't be able to finish all, but just a few things to see if we can create a picture of what actually should be. Uh, do you think that the family of Mr. Adam and Eve 
uh, was doing well before Genesis 3. Was that family doing well? Talk to me. Were they doing well? All right. Did they have a good accommodation? Eh? Was their food? Was the environment beautiful? What about the relationship between the man and the woman? Was he wonderful? What do you think about their communion and their relationship with God? Was he fine? Because the Lord came in the cool of the day. Eh? Was it in a church service that the Lord visited them? Where did the Lord visit? Their home. So their house was conducive for divine visitation. Their house was a fellowship center. I don't mean cell or all those things. No, I meant uh, God was free to come in at any time and talk with them and relate with them. Is that not a blessing? Eh? Can we have homes that God Almighty can feel free to relax in? We'll be praying about that. Did you quickly notice that they had children? Eh? Did they have children? Is that a blessing? All right. So it means that the will of God for families is that families should be productive. There should be children in the home. Am I correct? Please help me. Am I correct? Yes. All right. Now, did you also notice that there was sibling rivalry? Was it there? Eh? There was so much that Cain killed Abel. Was that what God intended? It wasn't the intention of God. So if you come into a family, you see an elder brother fighting the younger brother, that something is wrong there. Something is wrong. But do we see it in families? Do we see sibling rivalry? Do you know that in some families, the first does not talk to the second? Eh? Oh, it's true. It's very true. Uh, you know, I have gone to pray for a family with some people, you know, where one time. Uh, it was the blood of Jesus that, that covered us that day. Amen? I've never seen that kind of thing. Just to start the prayer, there was a spirit of violence. Prayer, prayer was about to start. One person just went out and lifted bottle. And hit it on the ground. I just managed, you know, the Bible says, and Jesus <laughs> covered himself out of that place because they wanted to. I know some of you are not like that. You are so powerful and so spiritual that if someone breaks about you, you go there and say, You demon of violence. <laughs> no, no, sir. The Bible says, Jesus didn't go among the jewelry because they sought to kill him. And he knew when to die. And don't die before time. Uh, if Jesus dies before time, it will no longer be useful for salvation. Are you understanding? So I covered myself very quietly into one room and just locked the door and lay on the bed. Around 12 for 1, he came and called me, he said, man of God, everywhere is calm. I say, is everywhere calm now? He says, it's calm. <laughs> I've never seen that kind of thing. And I came out. And preach the gospel. Oh, it was something. Come and see the hatred in the heart. This one said, you are here talking. Saying, let's pray. Because I said, let's now talk. Since we have prayed, let's talk. He said, I live with you. You sent your children to secondary school. You sent me to commercial school. I hated you with passion. Ah. Can I ask you, are there places where there are hatred in families? Very deep-rooted hatred. Very deep-rooted. Some of you don't greet your uncle. It's not the mind of God. Can I even tell you that the mind of God is not just a nuclear family? Do you know that God is a God of the extended family? That's the truth. That's the truth. So the enemy came and began to. Mm -mm. I hope you are not trying to do anything. 
Just follow the instruction. People write it. You have paper there. Just write it when I need it. Or call for it. They have papers. Now, that was not the mind of God. That was not what God wanted at all. The plan that God had was that families, families should unite. Did you hear the psalmist say, how good and how pleasant it is when brethren do what? Dwell. Dwell. Together. How? In unity. That's Psalm 133. He said it's pleasant. So families are supposed to be what? A pleasant place. Not a place, oh my God. Oh my God. That when you remember you want to go home, you sigh. You don't just want to go. It's not pleasant. It's not nice. It's not good. There is something that is making you say, mm, I don't want to go. A lady is saying, I can't wait to marry. I hope you know it's not normal. Say, let me marry and leave this house for you people. But if the family is in order, ah, even when you marry, You'll be wanting to go back every weekend. Except your husband helps you. Every weekend, you say you are traveling. You say, where? You say, my mother just called me. Say that she blinked her eye last night. Excuse me, is there anybody who didn't blink eye? <laughs> it's just that the place is what? Pleasant. It's very pleasant. There is something God is looking for this evening. And you will make up your mind. You see, as I prayed, I say, Lord, but some of us have already come from bad place. And he said to me, don't extend it. Uh, that you came from a very disastrous family does not mean you should raise a disastrous one. Are we together? Some of those holes, we must pluck them. And say, this is not the intention of God from the beginning. You move a little, you see a man called Lamech. Went and carried two women and was hitting their head together in the name of polygamy. That's not the, the mind of God. That's not what God intended. The Bible says, in the beginning, it was not like this. It was not so. The family was supposed to, to be a place where God finds expression. A place where things are just moving. You know, it took me time to renew my mind on something. As I was growing up, you know, are you sure? The way you are answering, you say, but how can I have five over five? The Bible said there was an evangelist called Philip. How many daughters? Four. What were all of them? Eh? Not just that. Virgins. Morally sound girls. Four of them. <laughs> when I saw it, I put my hand there. I said, Lord, I have to help your servants. Are you understanding? Eli had how many? Two of them. Was that what God wanted? Talk to me. Boys who are still in offering. And dealing with every woman who comes to worship. And made their father die. Whether of stroke or hypertension. Because the ark was captured. That's not the mind of God. Zelophehad had, had five girls. Right? Children of inheritance. As I kept searching, I said, Lord, show me a family. He pointed at Job. Say, look at a family. Did you see the family of Job? The man said, a man who feared God. Kai. He has substance. We'll be praying, you know. Family should have substance. Say amen. amen. 
There is no family that God said, these ones should not have what to eat. No, it's not God. They had substance. They had cattle. They had sheep. How many boys? Eh? Seven boys. How many girls? Three solid girls. Let me show you something that excited me about his boys. Go to Job chapter 1. Job chapter 1. Job chapter 1. Let's just see that. You will have a great family. Make up your mind. Are you there now? All right. Let's start from verse 1. Let's start from verse 1. Verse 1. There was a man in the land of Oz. Is a man. Whose name was Job. The man was blameless and upright. And one who feared God and shunned evil. And seven sons and three daughters were born to him. Also. His possessions were 7,000 sheep, 3,000 camels, 500 yoke of oxen, 500 female donkeys, and a very large what? Household. And a household that was large. So that this man was the greatest of all the people of the East. Now, and his sons would go and feast. Where? What does that mean? Eh? The boys had houses. There are families. The boys are still living in the house that their father built. That is even caving in and doing like this. And there are 14 of them. Nobody has risen. That's not the mind of God. Can you imagine seven boys with seven houses? Wouldn't you like, if you're a sister, yeah, wouldn't you like such brothers? No, tell me the truth. Eh? You say sharp, sharp. I mean, <laughs> brothers that are doing well. You can't wait for holiday to finish. Am I correct? Even though the school is in Enugu State, when you are going back to school, you turn around. He said, I want to see brother, okay? They said, what? He said, nothing. Nothing. I'm just passing to greet him back to school. How are you passing to greet him? The school is in Enugu. And you are in Oka. Then you are passing Legos to greet him. Am I talking? Even God, there are places he passes. Abraham's house is not the way to Sodom. But when God comes, there is a reception. Do you notice there are people you go to greet when you are going back to school? You just go to inform them, say you are going back. I don't know. I didn't say you ask them for anything. Don't misunderstand me. I say you went to greet them. Some of you who are back, you greeted them. Am I correct? Say, I'm, I'm going. <laughs> I just came to let you know that I'm going next week. Uh, next week. Monday. Next week. Mm. It's alright, brother. <laughs> but the other one that is even asking you to send him the charge card from school. When you get that mission, he didn't know. You did matriculation. He didn't know. You are graduating. He had it. And joined them to come. Even when he came. You wondered why he came. He still cornered you. On the day of graduation. Say so I know people will be giving you something. You know. <laughs> Remember your senior brother. See this kind of senior. I don't like it. We will be praying for them. It's not normal. Let's call evil, evil. 
The uh, Bible says, woe to him that sees evil and says he's good. He's not good. Am I correct? They had houses. Each on his appointed day. They gave appointments. Someone wakes up among them and says, look, on Monday, we are, you know, seven of them. That's the seven days in a week. Come and skin the laha. Say, I'm Monday. This one say, I'm Tuesday. This one say, I'm Wednesday. I'm taking Thursday. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. That's why we will pray. It shouldn't be one person. Because if it's one person, you soon start grumbling. But everybody's calling you. It's not a blessing. So I say, thank God I'm the only one saved in my family. You're already in hell. How can you fight a whole battle alone? Seven of them, each person. Till Saturday, and only three girls. Those girls are jada. Their home is not even big. Can you imagine Diana? Twelve brothers. One every month. You just move around. January, you are here. I don't know. I don't know about you. Do you have brothers who are doing well? In fact, you start praying that they don't quickly marry. You don't understand. He says he wants to marry. He says, bro, is it time? Bro, is it time? Because you're already calculating how they will now start rationing. Both attention and some other things. Say, bro, only 26. Make it 28. Because you know by the time you're 28, you have graduated. He thought it was a wonderful cancer. Are you understanding? They will invite their three sisters to come for fasting. There are families, they only gather for prayer. Say, brother, remember family prayer on 29th. The foundation must change. That must finish. Yeah. They gather just to eat. They just come everywhere and sit. See, just. Just eat and drink. Such kind of families. Not where mama is divided against papa. So how Rebecca was siding Jacob and what's his name? Isaac was siding. You know some families are divided along that line. They even fight. They, they, they say this, this person and this person say one, two, three, four father. Five, six, seven, eight, mother. That's not the mind of the almighty. That's not what God wants. There's something in the heart of the father. A family. Do you know that a family can, can, can be chosen the way a person can be chosen? God said to, 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 to somewhere, he said, go to the house of Jesse. I have chosen somebody there. Then they can be tracing. You know, they were tracing, tracing, tracing. They traced a family and got to Eckhart. And they finished everybody in that family. You see, we are tracing this family. That's not what God wants. Did you see how David's home scattered? Eh? Do you know that incense came in? Eh? Ah, I saw that kind of thing somewhere in one state I went to in a family, in a family. The young man impregnated the sister. Yes. And they had a child. And they were living in the same house. 
And the man is a native doctor. I, I, I concluded that day. I say, even if I was planning to serve the devil, with this kind of reward, I won't serve him. It's there. I hope you know Jesus and John the Baptist, they are related. Eh? Did you see how they paired up in ministry? So even with distant cousins, nephews, there should be something good. When you see a fight, it's not God. Because the Bible says he make it worse to do what? To seize. It is because there is something about your family. That's why the devil is shaking his head, shaking his head, nodding it on the wall. Look, I must, I must destroy this thing. You see, let me tell you, never you imagine that when a husband and wife are sitting down and they are smiling, that the devil is somewhere sitting down. Say, wow, <laughs> lovely couple. It's not true. What the meeting will start. Just, just that you smiled to your wife. Just smile. Oh, you've, not, you've not bought her anything. Just smile. There will be a meeting. It's a spirit of ill. You are here and they are smiling. We give you assignment. You don't do it. Go in between them. Cause a misunderstanding. We give you two weeks. Return back with results. Or something that when you look at it, you will not find anything. Do you know, you know I grew up in a very <laughs> wonderful place. As I was growing up, I remember one day my elder brother nearly killed my other sister. They were fighting. What is the matter? That the quantity of milk that my sister collected is bigger than the one my brother collected. My brother said it will not happen. <laughs> because my sister, she will make the tea for everybody. She will say she will drink class. You will think it's service. <laughs> it will serve all of you. By the time Oh, I was, I was maybe about seven or there about so I could remember. By the time you people are finished drinking, she go and get one small cup. And then, you know, over tea. When you watch her own and the one you drank, unless you are born again, you will fight. So one day my brother said it will not happen anymore. Say, give me that tea and they were struggling. I just climbed the bed. They were fighting, I was crying. Can I ask you, if that tea was enough? You see, tea thing didn't start with me today. <laughs> if that tea was enough, <laughs> have you tried cutting meat with your sibling? They say, sheer meat. That's how you put it in your mouth. Oh my God. Oh God. I knew I a classic, we are not talking about you. You don't understand our predicaments. You do like this. You say you have swallowed. You say, I didn't swallow any. This, this is it. You say, no, it's not it. <laughs> Excuse me. If it filled the plate, you know you can be tired of meat. You just say, you say it's enough. I don't need it again. He said, bless his substance. He said, let his hand be sufficient for him. Something happens to families when there is insufficiency. It's not the mind of God. Am I talking to you? David's own, oh no, it was too much. I hope you know there was murder in his house. Eh? There was more than that. Eh? 
people now murder people from their families. That's why we need to pray that salvation will come. Because when Jesus comes in, he said, I come to set a sword and a man shall be a, a member, a man's enemy shall be members of his household. Why? Because they are in two camps. This one is in light, the other one is in darkness, so they are fighting. But if all of them are in light, there's no problem. There's no problem. And not just light, correct light. Because I've seen people of one denomination in the same family. This one is higher life. This one is lower life. This one is middle life. This one is intercontinental. This one is province of grace. And they are divided. They can't even pray together. He said, when you people finish, we start our own. That's the mind. Do you know in every family, God wants to raise one star. And from there, it begins to affect others. Get me Genesis 5, 29. But am I communicating with you? All right. Genesis 5, 29. And he called his name Noah, saying, this one, this particular one, will comfort us. Concerning our work and the toil of our hands because of the ground which the Lord has caused. When he was born, he said, this one. I'm sensing that there is this one in this meeting. There is this one. That will, that will change verdicts. There is this particular one. That will make others to see light. He will bring comfort. How is he going to bring comfort? Maybe I should show you something. Second Corinthians chapter 1. 2 Corinthians 1. Verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Father of what? Mercies. And what again? The God of how many? All comfort. Any type of comfort you are looking for. Verse 4. Who comforts us in all our tribulation? That's trouble. That we may be able. Can I hear you say able? If you are not comforted, you can't comfort others. If God doesn't help you, how do you hope to help your family? Do you know the greatest pain in life is seeing a problem and you cannot solve it? Have you ever been in that situation? You want to help, but you are helpless. You are seeing your people suffering and you can't do anything. You are seeing them in pain. Do you know some people die out of it? They say, instead of watching this happen, let me die. That was why Hagar was crying. She said, I can't watch the baby do what? Die. Can you imagine a mother carrying a child? Six months. And she cannot buy milk to give the child. Will you go to that person and say, please, are you doing exclusive? <laughs> you say, what we are doing is permanent, exclusive. Some exclusive is not because <laughs> there is plenty breast milk. <laughs> you know, you can imagine. Say, this woman is trying. She's doing exclusive for three years. No, it is, <laughs> there is no comfort of milk to comfort the child. Am I talking to you? For some of you who think that it's not bad not to have substance, you don't understand. Eh? 
Do you know that even food that children carry to school affects their mind? Eh? <laughs> Every morning you put a ukiri for the child. Then the child enters school and sees fried rice and plantain. And you expect him to concentrate. It's not, you are not being reasonable. Even if it is you. Be honest. You, self, when you enter restaurant, are there not things that people order? And <laughs> you do your eyes like this. Am I, am I correct? Am I correct? You went to Chitis, all you bought was mamai and pure water. Then someone enters there. Now you're even older than. He said, do you have mama? I say, yeah. I say, put it to one side. What about chicken? He said, there is. He said, here. Yeah. Do you have a salad? He said, yeah. Uh, any fruit salad to start with it? He said, put it together. Put it together. Uh, what drinks do you have? He said, just put it here and put water. And the person passes your table. <laughs> Stop pretending. <laughs> you will do like joy soap. Am I talking? Because we want to pray. I've told God, the only thing I will not do in this life is to lie to myself. Am I talking? Ah. Sometimes I'm driving like this. There's a vehicle that will pass me. My wife will tell me, don't pursue him. Oh. I say, I'm not even attempting. There's no need. Man, know thy level. And believe God to lift you. <laughs> You see, you are coating. That's why help has not come to you. Undress for circumcision. Am I talking? What happened? All right. So now, you need to have that understanding that God comforts us so that we can comfort other people. Are we together? Paul was writing to them, I think in chapter 7. He said, when Titus came, I was comforted. So, comfort is embodied in humanity. Eh? Am I talking to you? Uh -huh. There are families where you come. Marriages don't last. They don't last. The first daughter is already bringing back her bag. You thought it was Christmas she was coming for. No, she's home. They have finished. The second one is standing with one leg. Saying, any next attempt, I'm coming home. And the parents are saying, coming for what? There is no space again. Your elder sister is here. The one that is all about to enter, the boy is playing him. It's not strong. Am I talking? That's not the mind of God. Some places to conceive is trouble. Just to get a child, there is trouble. There is this struggle. It's not normal. Some places, everybody must deliver at home. If they have not delivered at home, they will not marry. So you just go and get one. <laughs> you should hold. I have paid my due. I can now marry. That's not what a family is meant to be. That's not what God intended it to be. You come to a family, different gods. This one said, God Almighty. This one has a shrine. The same family. Did you hear uh, uh, Joshua say, for me and my family? Ah! There will be for me and my family. How can I say Jesus? And my son is calling another thing. I say, God help me. Because by strength, no man prevails. Are you understanding? Uh huh. You don't force an adult in worship. <laughs> That's the truth. You only need mercy to help you. Am I talking? You don't know the joy that they are going to church and every time for Thanksgiving and every member of your family say they are coming. Everybody. Say, we are coming, we are coming. We are anywhere. Just, we are ready.
to thank the Lord. Can you imagine a family where there are five boys and all of them married? All of them are filled with the Holy Ghost. Their wives filled with the Holy Ghost. If they come out for morning devotion, which apprentice demon will operate in that house? The eldest one is the Arakaba Shanta Korea. The second one, Mune Yalaha. And just like that. And when the first one is saying, Riba Baba ba, Shandalaba, <laughs> the other two, <laughs> I just see them. <laughs> Say, what's, what's brother say? It's like lack has entered his head. How do you hope to manage that? He said, for me and my family, Abba, we will serve the Lord. Do you know God chose a tribe, Levi, to serve him? Say, the whole of you, you are my servants. Come and sing the lava. If God can choose a tribe, God can choose a family. A whole tribe. He say, look, you are separated from me. Say, who is on the Lord's side? One tribe came out. Say, through you, the families on the earth, Can you imagine how Aaron represented Levi? Brought his rod and it yielded almonds. Would you like to say, Lord, this family, things have to change. The way things are going. I don't just fancy it. I don't like it this way. I want this family to change for good. I don't want it to continue like this. Going up and down, up and down. No. Let there be a change. Help my family. I traveled to Kogi State one time. Do you know in a clan like this, they brought six cops in one month. They are dying like flies. I said, no. This is not proper. It is not proper. Once the canopy moves and it is better, it's there. But if it moves and it is wedding, it's the other side. Why? Why is it like that? These are things I'm sensing. We need to say, Lord, my family, where I came from, the family I came from. If family was not important, God will be jumping genealogy. Do you notice that when God wants to trace you, where does he trace you? To your root. He goes there. Because that's where the main issue is. And we want to pray about it. And say this and this and this and this happening in this family. No, Lord. And some of you will be starting families. You need to start now and say, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I just have to get it right. I must get it right. I must create an atmosphere. I must create an environment. I must cultivate a garden. Where the Almighty can find liberty. Let me tell you, the family came before the church. He didn't hear me. Eh? Did I speak heresy? Ah, that institution, it came ahead. He said to him, set the house in order. When it was time to, to come to the house of Zacchaeus, what did he say? He said, today, I will be in your house. They said, ah, you have gone to be a guest to a sinner. He said, sit down, leave. I want to be in that house. I want salvation to come to that house. Can you imagine a man born again, the wife not born again? 
and the woman is returning. <laughs> After a heavy meeting like this. Say, honey, it rained. Say, rain. No, this January, it didn't rain. He said, I mean the rain of the sun. Thought you have something serious to say. <laughs> That's an agony. Eh? Did you see that neighbor and a big girl were not on the same page? Eh? Ah. Even from his name, from his naming ceremony, he was in another page. The woman now had to be doing something that he doesn't know. It's not supposed to be. They are supposed to do it together. But his foolishness killed him. And David, who is the expert in collecting, said, oh, since she has died, he has died. Come over. Come over. I've sought through scriptures. I keep saying, I think that God is still looking for a family up to date that will give him the picture of what he had in mind. There are attributes of God you only find in females and there are some attributes of God you find only in males. And what he wants is to put the two of them together. Do you remember Samson? He joined them. How? Tell to tell. Put fire on them. And sent them in. Every family is on assignment. Did you hear me? They're on assignment. Your family is on assignment. The one you came from and the one you are going to build. Do you know, when I read the Bible, some of the things that interest me is the culture of the Jews. When there is a feast, how many people will go? Eh? The whole family. They say, we are going to Jerusalem to go and worship. Hi. When it's time for the Passover, you will say, gather everybody together. Kill one goat here. I, I, I'm praying. Do you know some families have never gathered for once since they began? How will you gather them? The first one says he's coming back to the village by January. The second one says, well, that's okay for you. I normally come by May. The third one says, well, I just try August for August meeting. They are never together. We we'll pray about that. I'm praying that this year they will gather together. Yeah. And there will be one cow somewhere. Tied. Waiting. And they put it. Do you know some families don't eat from the same pot? An enemy has done that. Your uncle gives you something. <laughs> Say, uncle, thank you. Thank you. What happened? How did we come like this? Something went wrong. And we are saying, Lord, heal our families. Help our homes. We don't want this kind of thing. And some of you young ones, they have initiated you. You are even carrying it on your head. Instead of him telling you Bible story, he's telling you how, how he, his brother didn't train him. And you shouldn't train his children. You say, count it down. If that is your wish. Is that your last wish before you die? You say, yes, that's my last wish. You say, count it down. Nobody from there will be trained. When I show them wickedness, they will know. That's how you became wicked. And you are speaking in tongues. You are wickedly in tongues. What's, what's the matter? What's all this? The Bible says, and a spirit of ill came between 
Gideon and the people of Shechem. There is something called the spirit of air. It doesn't allow people to stay together. And we will deal with it. It must not proceed. Are you hearing me? He said, through you, the families of the earth. Even if you came from a polygamous home, say, Lord, make me an object of peace. He said, he's our peace who has broken the middle wall of partition. Or because your mother is the third wife. And the man is putting sense into you. Say, don't stay there. Rise up. You say, daddy, what about your first son? The one, hey, leave, leave, no. Shut. Take over. And the first son is saying, it's all right. I know the day they married your mother. I've been born. So your mother didn't give birth to me. War has started. And you are fighting it and speaking in tongues. You've not cared to say, Lord, how can we make war to cease? Don't you even know that number is an advantage? Eh? Even if the man made mistake and married four wives and he has died. Don't you know that uniting that family and you people are 20 in number. Can you imagine one of your sister's wedding and everybody is on uniform? Do you need a shabby again? <laughs> Who will come from outside and say, I want to do a shabby for your family? You say, sit down. We have, we have two. Ten here, ten here. Our sister in the middle. Am I talking? Some of them have created problems. They have died. And you are still pursuing the problem. And you say you are a believer. Through us. The families of the earth. Shall be blessed. When are we going to sit together again. As a family. You see, why I'm praying that God will bless you is so that you will not be walking till you die and not have time to even sit down and eat what you have worked for. Sometimes you need to sit under a tree and with a bottle of water as it may please you and some things to follow. And there is discussion. At the end of it, everybody gets up and says, I'm going. And some of you young girls looking at me. They will soon come to marry you. And the first thing you are asking the boy, has your mother died? I don't want problem, oh. I don't just want problem. Say, she hasn't died. Say, how old is she? <laughs> Say, she's 95. Say, it's all right. Is she still strong? Say, she's just like vegetable. He says, okay, that's a walkover. Proposal accepted. You see, you see, you see, you see your problem now. The devil didn't allow you to know that that's your mother. He didn't allow you to know. He didn't know that when you are crossing over, you are coming to build, not to scatter. You didn't know it was your credit that you came in and they were united. Some women immediately they marry them. Two brothers that have been greeting. Immediately they came in with the demon of separation that's living inside of them. Two boys that as they were growing, they were five and six. They can smile. They used to play. They were having all things in common. And we thought that the only thing they will not have in common 
is somebody's wife. Now they will continue. Immediately the girl came in. One month, he called the brother for a meeting. Say, shall we continue like this? He said, how? He said, I'm just saying, because I'm pregnant. He said, praise God, you are pregnant. So they said, he's a boy. <laughs> say, boy? Say, yes. Say, so? See, it's to start separating things, so. Boy. Is it Jesus you are carrying? <laughs> Boy. Even Mary didn't do that. What's your own? Just boy that needs redemption. That's why I'm causing trouble, oh God. That's why I'm causing trouble. Can we say to the Lord will be different? Can we say to the Lord, the man of war, take my hand. We will build families. Families that will be the envy of men. Families that when you enter, peace will welcome you. The serenity of the place tells you that the Prince of Peace is sitting down. Someone is saying in her heart, Pastor, you don't understand. I understand. Why are you still carrying revenge? And it's destroying everything. Why won't you let go? I hear you kneeling down and say, Lord, clean slate. Please, I need to balance it. If you don't forgive those who offended you, your slate is not yet clean. It's still as it used to be. So as we pray tonight, Lord, I lay this family on the altar. Both this one and the one I will build. The one I'm coming from. The one I'll be married into. The one I'm going to raise. Once it's a family, Lord, I need the Abrahamic covenant to be working in it. I'll be praying for substance. Eh? Because there's something substance does to a family. The atmosphere is a bit relaxed. Am I talking? It's relaxed. I want us to be a new generation that will declare the glory of God in families. I'm so passionate about it. I want to see it happen in my lifetime. I want to see the devil kicked out and he's there crying. Can you, can you imagine? Oh, give me some 128. Maybe I tie it up there. No time to teach all these things. Psalm 128. Oh, very beautiful scripture. Blessed is every man who fears the Lord. It's like the key to the family is what? The fear of the Lord. Anyone that fears the Lord, yes, who walks in his ways, yes. When you eat the labor of your hands, that means your hands will be productive. You shall be happy. Eh? You didn't say amen. amen. I know many of you think <laughs> it's not good to be happy. The Christianity, you know, is a fasting all through Christianity. No, there is fasting and there is feasting. He say, and thou, the Lord, the Lord thy God, you shall eat and, and bless the Lord thy God who has dealt wondrously with you. There's, there's a kind of meal you finish eating. Even with toothpick, you are doing like this. Rimama sando robosha. Lekubaya. Bless you, woman. Bless you. You are blessing the woman. Sisters, go and learn how to cook. Mm. Say, bring me venison. And when a sister is cooking hot water for three hours, there is a problem. <laughs> is it stone you are boiling? Oh. Uh, women leader, think of it. Oh. Organize 
uh, teaching for cooking for these young girls. I'm telling the truth. Too. I'm telling the truth. Too. It will help. Huh? Because what you serve is important. Hmm? <laughs> I'm talking now. That's how I talk. Don't come and serve something. <laughs> ah, I saw one like this. If you see the separation technique, all it was, all it was this side and what I was this side. You can you can pass the Jordan. <laughs> They say, man of God, eat. I say, I say it's all right. I eat little. I, I, I just, I eat little. I, I'm not a very heavy eater. <laughs> you know, for everything, God needs to give you wisdom. Are you understanding? I just declared eating little within that time. I, I, I eat little. After all, when it was time to go and anoint David, so say, someone said, how will I do it? He said, just call for a, a sacrifice. In order to dodge the man. So there's a way to dodge food. Just declare that that week. Once they have brought it, you have looked at it. It's not going to help you for one week ministration. Just say, Father, I declare low eating in the name of Jesus. They say, man of God, you don't say I eat little. When you return home, <laughs> God help your soul. I didn't talk to anybody. I just say, go and learn. Verse 3. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine. What's a vine? What does it produce? What does wine do? Something that cheers you up. Sisters, are you hearing me? If families must be good, you must be wine. Not wild. You know how I like this. Hide the money here and there. Change does not return. <laughs> not wild. Why? If he remembers you like this, say, when I remember the promise, I shout hallelujah. Just say, glory to God. Why? Brothers, are you hearing me? You need to pray. And God who helped us will help you. Amen. And some of you raising your hands, it's not yet time. In the very heart of your house, it appears that she is the heart of the house. She controls the mood of the house. She's the remote. In the very heart of it. Your children, like what? Only. Kamaskindala. What does Olive produce? Only. What does all you do? Makes your face to do what? To shine. Not a child. You go to collect his result. Ah! They show you the result of your child. They say it's his own. He said, check again. Check it. Check. Check. <laughs> How can you be that kind of child? It was the result who Fina and Fina has produced in warfare that killed their father. They failed. Ark captured. You are returning from school. All the things they bought for you is lost. You didn't return with anything. All around what? That means you have dining table. It should be around the table. Amen? They are around the table. Everybody is eating. Not around seat. I'm going to pray. You should have that in the table. Eh? They bring food. You put it on chair. You are sitting on chair and eating on chair. It's not the will of God. It's on table. I'm praying about it. Don't laugh because I know where I began. I can talk to you. When I saw this scripture, I said, Lord, I'm supposed to have that in the table. He said, yes. I said, where is he? He said, you didn't know and you didn't ask. Anyone I see, I go for it. All around what? Your table. Table. Around. Not small table like this. Not this one. Say, Pastor, I have table. No, no. Around your table. God will give it to you. Amen. I love my father. Behold, thus shall the man be blessed who fears the Lord. 
So when God wants to bless a man who fears him, he reaches to his family. Am I talking to you? Let us pray. Let's pray. Whether you are married or you are not married, you came from a family and you are going to build a family. He said, thus shall the man be blessed. There is a way God blesses his men and you are his man. He goes to your family. He gives you a prudent wife. He say, houses and riches and inheritance of the father. But a prudent wife is from the Lord. Will you like to bless the God of families tonight? Will you like to thank him? Please thank him. Please thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Say, toss shall the man be blessed. Who fears the Lord. Go ahead and thank him. Ushers, move around now and collect those papers for me. Put it in a basket and come and drop it here for me. Go ahead and thank the Lord. Thank the Lord now. We just have 25 minutes of intensive praying. Karaseri Bamaneya. Hmm. I see beautiful homes, imagine. I see healings in homes. See, my house shall be called a house of prayer. Your family is the house of prayer. Ala bandere wodo suri ala ali la boshin kadere. The comforter will comfort your home. Mm. My help comes from the Lord. Thus shall the man be blessed. Hi. You are a man who fears the Lord. God says it's like this. It's like this. If you are a brother here, pray. And say, Lord, you will give me a fruitful wife. You give me children who are like olives. The Holy Spirit is by the side to assist you in prayer. Oh Lord, showers of blessing in our homes. Is there anything the devil has done in the home you came from? This is the time to say, Lord, let the war end. Let this war end. Rasikapurobosanda. Rasikapurobosinda libade. Rale mania lada bende kothuri. Jesus. 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 Madam, pray and say, Lord, cause my husband to fear the Lord. It's your advantage that he fears the Lord. Sister, the first thing is not a man who has money, it's the man that fears the Lord. <laughs> say, Toss shall be blessed the man who fears the Lord. Pray that man into God. Sister, the one who will come for you, pray him towards God. Command him to start moving close to God. That's where your safety is. Toss! Shall the Lord bless the man of fears the Lord. Anything the Lord didn't plant in your family, uproot it now. Oh, you are not praying. This sibling rivalry. 
Don't say it's impossible. With God. With God. With God. An encounter with your siblings will bring them on their path. The God who saved Paul will save your elder brother. Family salvation tonight, Father. Ori mania, Sara bakuri, Sando roba suria, Jesus kapele dori mani, Elebe de mani galabado, Elebe de manu katokos ki prele, Jante ke pre mani de bori alega da ba mania, Elebe mano no no Sando roba le, Resun kapata every man, The substance of the family must be blessed, Ada de bodo mani kata le prele. Hello, don't come manikata. Every manikata. A suta kapa manikata. Every manikata to live by the Alahanda. A de manikata to live by the day. Lebre manikato. A shete kepre mani. A do manikata ka lebre manikatuska. And the bremanukata nebo do koton. A de kepa luka de nebo. A shame family sicknesses. Break! Manika tondo lebada. Lepe to koskia. Jende bremene. Lord, give strength to your people to pray now. Adele bodoko. Malaba baba diada. Raba baba baba. Not in this family. Reke to koto lebo. Deria bali manika. Embre legede. Ebremene. That which defies families. Pray. Don't wait for me. Anything you can remember. Deal with it. Who told you everybody cannot be born again? How did you receive that? Oh, picture a family. Just picture a family. Alabadi, Alahadi, Lakatole, Basunda, Samonoso, Toliba. Nobody is praying for you or everybody is facing his family. The one you are in, sister, the one you will be married into. Brother, the one you are going to marry from. Don't go and import a woman who will sit on an idol. Pray now. Ahab went and married Jezebel and became the SI unit of wickedness. He said, The girl fine. The girl fine. No be able. There are issues, oh. Pray. The man talk. No be able. It's not a question of the man talk. I am calling you to pray now. Pray before it's late. Don't say, I still have time. No. Settle it ahead of time. Before the evil days come. Before confusion sets in. I can't enter regret in the name of family. Many have been damaged. Please ushers do your work. I don't want people walking around there to drop things. Please. Talk to the Lord. Talk to the Lord. Say, Lord, bless me with the fear of the Lord. For this is how a man who fears the Lord will be blessed. Says the Lord. Kai. I must fear the Lord. The Lord said, You will build the desolations of many generations. There are desolations in families. We must build it. This generation must build it. Oh, declare I will not have a failed marriage, I will not have a failed home, 
I will not have failed children. Please pray. The helper is here. This is a prayer matter. Lord, save me from any accident about to happen in the name of marriage. Lord, I have no power of my own. Lord, deliver me from strange children. My children will not be strange. They will not be strangers to the covenant. Rata Cabello, a Benabedolia, the Hade, Tabeta, the bread, the leader, let my daughters will not marry strange men. Cambre Menuca, a bread, my sons will not marry Jezebel, Jacele Bosch, and the Lebremania. Talk to the Lord. Why are you the only one who is a Christian? Everybody in the house is drinking and falling into good. Nobody is doing well. Everybody is borrowing. And you are not praying. Say, Lord, I need help now. Didn't you see the brothers of Job? Somebody is already praying. Say, Lord, use me to comfort this family. Holy Spirit, thank you for what you are doing in the midst of your people. Thank you for what you are doing in families right now. This year will be the first gathering. Mark it, there will be a gathering. I banish every scatterer in your home. I banish every scatterer in your family. I banish everything that wants to scatter. Jasaka Lobo Sariamani. Or brood shame from that family. Aye. I can brush him. I can brush him. Lord, I will not bring shame. My brothers will not bring shame. My sisters will not bring shame. My niece, my nephew, all of them. Nobody will bring shame. Hi. Oh, pray. Oh, pray. Oh, the man we pray. Oh, the man we pray. family for his glory. Let the glory of the Lord descend upon our family. You didn't hear me. Every family is destined for glory. Every. Every single family upon the face of the earth. Someone said no shame or glory. No shame or glory. No family in this ministry with no shame. You need to fight. What God made for glory cannot be converted to shame. He created family to give him pleasure. Ah, la bodoria mania. Ada de bremania la hando le bosch. La berda le bremanica de la selimanos. Let the 
let the fire of God burn off every shame in that family. Kai. How can there be incense? How can there be incense in a family? Oh, pray against this evil. Pray against this evil. How can everybody be handicapped? No man of substance in the whole of a family. Never again. Holy Spirit, move in families. Do what no man can do this year. What we have taught is impossible, Lord, do it. Thou will arise and have mercy upon families. The time to favor them has come. You are not burying anyone this year. Pray. There shall not be losses. Pray. Pray. When they are talking like this, you think they are joking. Pray over their family. Call upon the Lord. Unless you have something else that you call upon. Pray for yourself. Say, Lord, I will not bring shame to my family. Please pray. Pray. I will not be the old man out. I will not be the one they are carrying for family meeting every time. I will not kill my parents. Pray. Pray. They will not weep over me. Kai. cried over Absalom he said oh Absalom my, my son a son that wanted to kill his father oh I want you to pray I am not a child that brings reproach Kai how can they remember me and they say who did this to me? If you are a lady here, pray. Say this womb will not call abnormal children. Pray. <laughs> you may think we are talking about today. We are settling issues of tomorrow. Stop prayers now that you are young. Some of the things we are reaping now, we pray them then. Children that carry people to police station. Not from my womb. Brother, pray, say not in my loins. They are not here. I reject strange children. Pray. And I will not be one.
Hey. This kind of hope Finney and Finney has. Children that kill their parents. They may not use gun. Their misbehavior will kill their parents. Say, Lord, don't join me to them. In the next five minutes, I want you to pray and say, Lord, bless my family. Lift up your two hands and say, let the rain of blessing fall on this family. Please, you have five minutes to do that before I start praying. Pray with all your heart. There shall be showers of blessings. Oh, that today they might fall on families. Over the hills and the valleys. Sound of abundance of rain. Please don't stop. Please don't stop. Bless my family. Bless my parents. Bless my relatives. Break every curse. Break every yoke. La coco robo sanda la bakuria. glory of the Lord is here. Before I lift up the names of this family's prayer, the rain must fall. Oh, let it fall. Say, Father, let it fall. Because the heavens have opened. Ah, I don't know when next you will like to pray this prayer. But tonight, pass me not, O gentle Savior. You that visitors at yours, Kaboroko Talaba Santa, Karababa Basanda, and you said to Abraham, I shall return. Lord, return to my family. Lord! The God that visited the family of Abraham, he hasn't died. Thank you, brother. Kari Masondo. I didn't say stop. Those two hands lifted up. Last sucker, Let the Lord see you. Let the Lord see that family. You are lifting up a family. You are lifting up a generation. Rashala Baba. Every word has been broken. Lord, let there be a rebuilding. Oh, I see Jeremiah's. I see the Jeremiah's arising. There are Nehemiahs in this meeting. They are building the broken walls. Rest celebrate. The fire will fall on you. The fire to rebuild homes. The fire to rebuild families. The ball shall rise again. That family is rising again. Since your father died, it fell apart. Rako Korobo Sandaraba, Karobo Saria Mania, Shandelebo Saria. I hear restore. I hear the Holy Ghost say restore. Someone pray. Say, Lord, restore the greatness of my family. Child. Restore the greatness of my family. Restore the glory you had for this family from the beginning. You are not praying like people who have received mercy. I don't care what the family has done. As we turn to the Lord in prayer, He said, I will heal your land. I will heal your family. I will heal your marriage. I will heal your children. I will heal the work of your hand. Say, Lord, restore. Lord, restore. Thank you, Father. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Keep those two hands up. 
One more prayer. And I will lift up these families before the Lord. He said, nobody cries restore. But we are going to cry restore. Restore peace. Restore joy. Restore prosperity. Restore unity. Restore cooperation and networking. Kai, restore joy. Are you ready? You will shout that word restore eight times. And at the eighth one, let the grace of restoration ah, by the Spirit of God. Hey, let the builders of heaven go back to sight. Let abundance let abundant projects begin to receive attention. Things that have stopped flowing, the river will flow again. Number one. The family cannot die because your father died. You will take up the mantle of responsibility. Nehemiah said the walls must be rebuilt. Number two. That's the reason why you are born. When Enos was born, something began to happen. Something will happen to that family because you are born. Number three. the way I met it. I am not an ordinary man. I say, yeah, I go. Number four. Kai. A mysteries of heaven. Angels of building. Things are already happening. Bones are joining bones. Calls are already coming tonight. Reconciliation everywhere. The walls that the devil erected are already going down. Number five. Jericho will fall. Jericho will fall. Ancient foundations will shake. Ma -na 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 -na. Number six. Veils will be taken away. Those who used to see you as an enemy, they will see you as a friend. Mani, Katov, La Petele, Libade, the Labor Dose, Labor Mene. One man confused them and said, You are the one doing them. You are not the one. Hatred came in. Whatever that the Lord didn't uproot, didn't plant, I uproot. Number seven. Resources will drop. There will be resources. We will build. This desolation. This building that cannot be completed. And then, 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 What the father started. Your grandfather began. Your father didn't complete. You have met it and you are still looking at it. The work of somebody's hands will be blessed. Somebody will remove this reproach. I welcome you to Giga. We are reproaches that roll the way. Number eight. Receive resources. Receive resources. Receive help from heaven. Let there be help from above. Let your hand be made strong. The hand of Joseph was made strong. By the hand of the mighty God of Jacob. Let there be a rebuilding. 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 Let, Let shame go away. I command shame to go away. Let every reproach go away. In the name of Jesus. Lord, you said they should write the names and bring it to the altar. Now what happened to the road of Aaron will happen to families. Kapole de meneniania. May they know that I have done this thing by your order. Every family represented here by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let there be life in the name of Jesus.
Let the hand be up. Korobo seri. Karaba sari badar. Enter the bremendo. What is meant for glory cannot be converted to shame. Enter let the lebregade. I command your family to arise. I command your family to shine. Because your light has come. The glory of the Lord is risen. Gentiles will come to your light. Kings to the brightness of your rising. In the name of Jesus. I speak over your family. May they be in the news for the right reason. Let them be in the news for the right reason. And the Philistines envied him. And the Philistines envied him. Oh, may the beauty of the Lord be seen in your family. May the glory of the Lord appear again in the name of Jesus. Shiloh was looking like we are nobody will attend until the Lord appeared again in Shiloh. Lord, when a, one appearance is not enough. I speak over this family. You have appeared before. But Lord, it's not enough. May the Lord appear again in your family. Oh, you didn't hear me. I said the Lord appear again in your family. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, when the Lord shall build up Zion, he shall appear in glory. When the Lord appears, it is to build. This is a year of building. There will be many buildings. Ah, I said there will be many buildings. You will build homes this year. You will build systems this year. You will build businesses this year. You will build relationships this year. You will build contacts this year. This ministry is already built this year. In the name of Jesus. Lift up those hands very well. I am praying. And the king said to Nehemiah, What is your request? State something clearly in your heart concerning that family. That you will remember and come to this altar and say, This is what I said. Is it a building? Whatever it is. That's saying, God, I will come here and say, You appeared. Is it a marriage? That we gather everybody. I'm allowing you. You are the one now. This is a divine moment. You say, ask anything. Make it big so that you know it's God. This is a divine moment. Be specific. Ask for something that has never happened in your family. It has never happened. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. Keep those hands up. Father, thank you. For rains. That have begun to fall on families. We will not disappoint you. You will see homes. That look like the garden of Eden. You are coming back. To come and settle under every green tree. In families. Siblings, we walk together again and serve the Lord. Yeah. 
Say, no man shall teach his neighbor know the Lord. And they shall not hurt upon my holy mountain. Lord, upon this mountain, bless the substance of every family. All the families that have come to you this day, let there be rain for them. May the showers of blessing fall upon the work of your hands. Your hand will be sufficient for you. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. The grace in fellowship.